Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. An iconic moment, of course, from Stanley Kubrick's 1968 classic, 2001, A Space Odyssey. Hal, an artificial intelligence computer, refusing to let the astronaut doctor David Bauman back inside the spacecraft. Of course, the movie provides a cautionary tale about the dangers of handing over our lives to soulless machines. And now artificial intelligence is here. Some people say we are doomed. That includes the Daily Caller's Kay Smythe. She's writing that AI can be replacing journalists and more. She says in her article that robots might end up replacing us, but they could also free up our time to live without having to work. Interesting premise. Meanwhile, over on Newsmax.com, writer Andrew McDermid says AI will overtake humans if we let it. He says that futurists assume there's a bridge between narrow applications of AI and the general intelligence humans possess, but no such bridge exists. All right, AI and the future of humans in the workplace. It is the topic of today's debate club. The Daily Caller's Kay Smythe is joining us now. She's taking the side of the robots coming to kill our jobs like our Schwarzenegger, right? Right, the original Terminator. Okay, good to see you. And she is debating John, of course, who is holding out hopes mm -hmm. for mankind. How big of you. All right, guys, let's get to it. Uh, Kay, to you first. Tell us why you think the future will be free of human journalists. One minute on the clock to you. I don't think that the future is going to be free of human journalists. I actually think AI and robotics is a completely unsustainable path forward. Two things happen when you allow humans to innovate to the point where we lose skill sets. One, we go through rapid, rapid evolution that we've gone through, say, for example, in the last 70 years with the advent of uh, electricity, you know, the mass widespread of the Internet, blah, blah, blah. But as soon as we start giving away those skill sets to a smaller and smaller group of people, we actually lose those skills on a macro level. So eventually, if robots do take over, they will basically develop to the point where without any future human upkeep or input, they'll be rendered useless, which will render society useless because we will have lost all of the skill sets that would have maintained us prior to the robots being here. So I think that we're doomed either way. I think we're doomed for a lot of reasons. This is just one of them. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's a long list. That's another debate. But speaking of today and AI, John, you think mankind has it over this technology. 60 seconds to you. Just tell us why. Yeah, you know, I'm always going to bet on humans over robots any day of the week. And when I think about the reasons why, I think of people like journalist Kay Smythe, who's with us, and she has a very unique perspective. Now, Kay, I came to know you through your work on Joe Pag's show and Carl Higby, both good friends of mine. I tune in to watch your debates with Ellis Hennekin on Wake Up America weekends. And as far as I know, you are the only Welsh American female Gen Z slash millennial female conservative in the game right now. You're also a very clever writer. And you advocate for worthy causes like uh, the War Party Ranch, which I've learned about through you, and Public Square, which is a cool company. If you're sick of Google, find out about Public Square and find pro-American companies in your neighborhood. I, again, I learned about this partly through Kate. Hey, okay, and, and two things that I've also enjoyed about uh, these social media posts is, you know, again, it's a unique perspective. And as long as other journalists are able to cultivate and maintain a sense of individualism like you have, I think the industry will be fine. Um, you know, there are a lot of problems with journalism right now, but I don't think AI is one of them. All right. Well, that was a, a nice sort of setup here. Over to you, 30 seconds to rebut what John says. And apparently, you're doing good work, Kay. Yeah, how am I supposed to review that? That was It wasn't really a debate. I just brought you a in town. I'm so glad she can listen to uh, that, John. That was so kind and so sweet. Okay. But actually, my point totally agrees with yours that without human input, AI and robotics won't last. We obviously have the edge because we created it. The issue is if we surrender rights to sort of robots, you know, we had a huge chat in work today about what happens if we start allowing lawyers to become robots, when you right. take the ethics out. And that's that's the one area where I'm a bit nervous. Sorry, I went over a little bit then. But yeah, I guess the ethics of it all, John. Where, where do you fall on that? Well, I, I think we have a clip we can play here because CBS Sunday morning American focused Science. on AI. Real quick, we want to play it. Take a listen. I would put people like uh, lawyers right at the top of the list. Obviously, a lot of copywriters, um, screenwriters. But I like to use the word affected, not replaced, because I think if done right, it's not going to be AI 
replacing lawyers. It's going to be lawyers working with AI replacing lawyers who don't work with AI. And that's it, right? I mean, we could not have done this conversation with robots, and that's my point. You gotta master these things, or otherwise they will master you. Kay, do you wanna have I a final really word? I couldn't agree more. All right. All right, well, there you See, go. It wasn't a real debate, but it, you know, again, it was just to prove a point, right? That's what debates are for sometimes, and that you can't do this stuff with robots. You can't have this type of conversation with robots. So we win. Humans win. I mean, we do win. And uh, apparently Google does not because the creative Gmail thinks that Google will actually be done in two years uh, with OpenAI's chat GPT uh, chat box. So we'll see what happens. As Kay uh, soundly pointed out, though, there's a lot of things. Raise your hand, though, if you think if you're OK there. with Google being replaced. They dominate the search oh, market. Absolutely. We need an alternative. And that's absolutely. why if it, it will be replaced if they don't change their game. Maybe a few lawyers. Because but we just need swing. to ensure that we don't get replaced. We need to That's ensure right. that we don't lose skill sets, we don't give them to robots and forget how to do them in the first place. That's right. my big fear. And I don't, don't trust people, John. I, I, I distrust people more than I distrust robots. Don't give the keys to Hal. You know, don't let no. him lock you out of the, the pod bay doors. Great to see you, Kay Smythe. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Good so debate. Much. Enjoy your mom's visit. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you.